Hello everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here with a weekly astrological message. This is where I talk about celestial energy in the heavens that affects all of us, all zodiac signs. And I try to keep it as concise as I can, you know, the less minutes I do it in, the more proud of myself I am because really, you know, I'd like to give you the centerpiece of every week. So generally speaking, if we're talking about this week, we're beginning it in uh, the 22nd of August 2021 with a full moon in the sky and the sign of Aquarius. I'm talking about the quickening going into the age of Aquarius. This is it, you know, it's a, it's a full moon in Aquarius conjunct Jupiter, sextile Pluto, like immensely transformative energy that calls us to update our life and walk forward. This is a time of revelations. This is a time of enlightenment. This is a time of great strides forward in technology, in economy, in sciences, in, in our sense of ethics and morality, in our understanding of the needs of the one and the society. This is indeed a leap forward for humanity taken in a very short time. The tremors of going in such high velocity are felt throughout society, throughout our lives. This is a time packed with energy, packed with the new. The only thing we could do is be as versatile and flexible and curious about the new land that we can smell in our nostrils, you know, uh, heading our way. This is not the time to think that you know the charted course. This is not the time to be sure of who you are and what you are. Allow yourself to stride into the new. This is a time in which Mercury and Uranus, Mercury planet of communication and thought and movement is trining Uranus, the innovator. And of course, Mars is conjunct Mercury. So Mars would be trining Uranus exactly on the 22nd as we have this full moon in the sky in Aquarius Venus and Saturn are in an exact trine Venus planet of um, relationships with money relationships with people relationship with my one's self is, is trining Saturn in the sky and of course they're trining and sextiling the nodes the dragon nodes creating the sky in the sky very blessed protective formation. This is a grand air trine, although the ancient ones would have not considered it a grand air trine with the node, just with the third planet. Nevertheless, this is the last time that we could actually make our relationships with money, with our work, with our self-esteem, and with people in our life grow stronger, the roots grow deeper, and indeed establish more in our lives. This is good stability coming in a time of great instability a blessed a blessed peaceful piece of land you know to breathe upon and the story later on that week from the 24th 25th 26th 27th is really about mercury we've been having this time for you know a period now like many months that Mercury has been engaged with Neptune, Neptune's been engaged with the nodes. It's been a time that conflicting information would be provided, that you wouldn't know who to believe, that conspiracies would rise up, that then revelations would come up and we would see, you know, that how stupid the conspirators were in some things and really how stupid we were not to understand that they were right about some of the things. <laughs> You know, because the truth is always in the middle somewhere. It's not one side of the coin and it's not the other side of the coin. It's what's happening between those two sides. And next week on the 25th, Mercury is going to be opposed by Neptune, planet of, <coughs> of uh, illusion. Mercury is in charge of thought, understanding, communication, information. And then in the next day, it's going to be trined by Pluto, which could reveal things. So this is about the energy about the 26th up to the 27th and then later on 
as we go into the 28th and 29th and 29th <coughs> I like how the sky is looking it's a very creative time it's a very fruitful time that we could actually harness our imagination into physical implementation you know being practical about how we could make creatively make our lives better um, so that's the week ahead let's keep it short and sweet and sweet as I said I want to remind you all that as you comment and share these and watch these they expose them to more people and I have private lessons I have uh, um, birth chart readings I have evolutionary astrology readings soul readings everything is 35% off because of the fourth wave of COVID coming in so utilize that whether it's a course online or private reading with me all my details are at the end on the slide may we all live long and prosper this is Nia Filer signing out